Hello folks and welcome to another episode of Fight the Dragon, where we beat up guys, take their stuff, and then use that stuff to beat up the dragon, who probably didn't mean no harm to nobody. So, let's go in here. So, huh. My square is not really a square, it's a rectangle. There's four this side, four this side, four this side, three this side. So I don't know how I did that. So let's go ahead and open the gallery and jump in here. I got a request for something called the Relic. No idea what it is. No idea if it's good. No idea if it's bad. No idea if it's indifferent. It might be indifferent. It says no adventures found. Maybe it's a campaign? There's a lot of Relic stuff in here, but probably in the description. Huh. I don't see it here. The Fallen, Westboro, Rise of the King, Unknown Evil. None of these words have relic in them. That's what I'm noticing. Oh, we can search the results. 0 to 36. Um, don't think results work the way you think they do. I'm pretty sure they have to at least start with 1. Journey of a Hero. No, no. Dark Emery's Boy Who Lived. Boy Who Lived. Boy Who Lived. Why does that sound familiar? Why does that sound... Harry Potter! Boy, my brain sometimes, like a sieve, that joke would have worked better if I had said, like a thing, you know, the things with the holes in. And then people would have said, what now? Boy, there are a lot of relic choices. Maybe it's called, like, the relic. Does that matter? Um, there we go. You have to actually click go. No campaigns found. So, screw me, I guess. Let's do a random one, then. Alright, what do we got? War is coming. Probably done hundreds of dungeons, but now it's time to go to war. Have we done hundreds of dungeons? What is this, episode 60-something? We've done maybe two dungeons per... Well, I guess last few episodes we've done one dungeon per, so maybe like 100, 120 dungeons, maybe? So not hundreds, a hundred. But now it's time to go to war. Fight across a giant battlefield to save the kingdom. If you enjoy this map, check out my other maps. Well, maybe if I remember you, Mr. Jimmy Doe8. Is that what that is? Alright, here we go. Here we go. So, Yoelin. Hi, Yoelin. Hurry and see the king. We don't have any time to waste, Father Joe. My, li my family lives near the fields of Veltox. Please help them. So, okay. Let me see the king. King Gudvar. Hello, King Gudvar. Oh, sorry. That was totally not King Gudvar. Um, that's not who I want to talk to either. There you go. For ages, we thought the mountains to the north were the edge of the world. However, we were wrong. Yeah, people usually are. An unknown enemy came crawling down those mountains and has already devoured the city of Fluix. These names, man. These names. <laughs> Now they're heading straight for the city of Evon. We've cut them off in the fields of Eltox, but we'll soon be overrun. You'll lead the remainder of my knights to the battlefield as our kingdom's last hope. Once there, meet up with the general Ickis for details on the war. You must hurry, our knights can't hold out much longer, they need your aid. Um, dude, I realize I'm only one guy, right? I mean, I'll grant you, I'm a pretty awesome dude, but... Okay, I guess we're going now. Hey, knights! Um, I'm gonna pick up these, whatever's in these chests, because I have a feeling that might help. Okay, so knights, heard the enemy isn't even human. So are they orcs, or are they skeleton, or snakes? A snake army would be pretty cool. Hey, General Icus, thank god you finally arrived. We've managed to halt their progress for now. Um, don't think that word is spelled the way you think it is, but we're down to our last few men. Their leader, the Skeleton King, is held up in the past, held up past the river in the old mansion. If you can take him down, they should retreat. However, they've blocked the bridge with a magic gate. The only way to open the gate is to take out their five mini camps across the battlefield. Before you can take out the camps, though, you need to take care of the hill straight in front of us. Okay, so hill, then camps, then gate. Got it. So the squad of archers up there, and we can't get anywhere close. If you don't take them out, you'll never be able to survive long enough to destroy their other camps. One last thing. I believe they're holding some of our people prisoner on the other side of the river. If you see them, please help them. Good luck. Okay, good luck, I guess. Let's do this. Hi, Blecker. 
I made it through the gate, but I made quick work of them. Well, good for you. What does it say? Danger war zone? Okay, we already did that. We talked to him. So, hills. There should be some kind of horrible, horrible enemy on these hills. Maybe? Yeah, well. Or no, these are the camps. The hills are over here. And I got hit by a lot of dudes. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Or horrible. One of those. Might be all at once. Alright, don't run away from me when I'm trying to kill you. Okay, well, at least the Minotaur can't charge me. That's something. I'm getting creamed here, though. Up. I need to go up. And stunning him is good. Oh, okay. That was more dangerous than I wanted it to be, but my rage is ticking up. Why don't we go and let these guys chase us around and build up our rage a little bit? At least until we regen out of it. Then with rage, I should be able to take care of everyone no problem. Um, yeah, you're just gonna run around. It's like a Benny Hill. Someone play the Benny Hill theme! I currently don't have it. I should, though. I should have that on cue. Oh, run, run, run. There we go. Now they can't hurt me anymore. I can hurt them. You're dead? You're all dead. You're all dead to me. Okay, there's you over here. Okay, Rage didn't last as long as I wanted it to, but that's okay. It lasted long enough. Dude, I'd really love to hit you right now, but you're apparently invulnerable up there. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Here. That's what I wanted right there. Okay. So. My guess would be the way they're enforcing that, and these stairs, man. These stairs. The way they're enforcing that is that there's going to be a key. Yeah, in fact, I need three keys. Looks like ruby, silver, and gold. Well, there's a silver key. Okay, we got potions for our trouble. Appreciate that. Okay, so now there are the camps. Should be able to take care of the camps fairly easily. Okay, there's a Minotaur. Don't let him charge you. That's all I ask. And I think we're going to be able to pull that off. Orc is dead. Um, okay, while he's stuck, we might as well ping him from a distance. And I just hit my microphone. Like a professional. Like a pro. What do we got? What do we got? Come on, over here. There's no kobolds. I appreciate that. That's at least something. And this is all really noisy to me right now. I apparently have my volume up way too high. Let me turn that down a minute. There we go. That's a little better. Yeah. I feel like I needed to shout, and you guys don't appreciate that, because the volume didn't change for you. It's funny those guys don't set off the pressure plate. Maybe they do, and I just don't notice it, because I'm too far away. Okay, we picked up a spear. Spear might be good, might be horrible. Um, I'd like you to place it right there, please. Thank you. Okay, what do we got? We got more health potions. And a checkpoint, which we're definitely going to use. And let's go ahead and check out the spear. Could be good. It is decent. Better defense, better luck. Drops our strength down a little bit. Don't like that. If we were a rogue, we get... 1 point, or no, 14 HP restored per kill. Extra damage to rats, a little bit of stolen HP. Eh, what the hell, we'll try using it. It looks more like a lance than a spear. Hello, guys. Oh, there's an ogre, ogre here or something. Oh, yeah, the stolen HP. I think that's actually helped me a lot here. Huh. Though not as much as I wanted to. I seem to be attacking faster. I don't know if that's actually true, but it seems that way. More ogres, huh? Um, let's... Yeah, let's rage up. Okay, now we should be able to take these guys out no prob. Oh yeah, it seems to be doing a lot more damage. Wow. That was nice. Um, anybody else? Anybody else want to play? No, huh? Good. Okay. Yep, filled up all our health potions. Strangely enough, not our rage potions. Take that too. I don't know what it is, but I'll take it. Alright. So I like the uh, 
the switch puzzles because that actually gives you a clear delineation of which ones you've hit, which means that we'll be able to see when this chest, when this uh, door opens. Okay, yeah, can't pick up any health potions for now. Later on, I'll probably need them. More gold, more equipment, something. Just gold. Okay. See, so there were four camps, right? That would make the most sense to bounce it out. Dude, I do not appreciate fire starters at all. Especially not fire mages. I'm gonna die. Ah, uh, yep, I died. <laughs> Tried to hit the health potion. Didn't do it. Um, is that... Let's go ahead and take the other camp, just in case. It'd be funny if the other camps got buffed the more of the first camps you taken out, but that doesn't seem likely. It just seems like they just added the mage there to make sure you knew that to... Okay. Now there's a definite progression here. I would like to rage up, please, so I can take care of this guy as a leecher. He's really dangerous. Come on, die off, die off, die off, die off. He's still trying to leech me. Yeah, there we go. Berserker Rage held him off, though, and they're all dead. All right. Take the Hammer of Might, because why not? Oh, I'd like to place that, actually. Thank you. Anything else here? No. Okay, let's go ahead and take up the other Rage Potions. That should give us a head start on gathering Rage. And the Fire Starter is going to be a problem, maybe. Maybe. Not any problem anymore. Frostbite doesn't bother me. Silence does, but not right now. Did I actually kill the fire starter before? No. Okay, it's another camp entirely. Well, okay, so I wasted my rage a little bit there, but to be honest, I didn't know where I was. And we leveled up. We're about to die, but we leveled up. Do not have any health potions. Health, health, health. I probably shouldn't have said it three times because I hit it three times. I don't know if three times is actually necessary. Not that I have voice attack on my system. I really mean to get that. Um, but it requires me to actually, you know, install something. Also, it's not terribly useful right now. I am every once in a while tempted because I saw someone playing Elite Dangerous the other day. Which I'm probably totally not going to pick up because it sounds really dull. But the parts of it that do sound exciting were was when the guy I was watching playing was using voice attack to key up a bunch of commands, and that looked so awesome. Um, probably might use that for No Man's Sky if I decide to pick up No Man's Sky. All right, we are full up on health potions. And I think we've placed down all the switches, so the gate should be opened. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good. So now it's just a Skeleton King, right? And whatever's in here. Possibly our doom. Oh, we leveled up twice, so now we have two uh, attribute points to use. Okay, I think that gate just opens for us? No, it requires the ruby key. Where the hell's the ruby key? Oh, there's a kobold there. That's not cool. And a leecher. This is gonna suck. This is gonna suck. I just want you to know that right now. All the health, all the pain, all the suffering is going to be worth it, maybe, possibly. Oh, burning so hard here. Don't die, don't die, don't die, I said. Oh man, all the pain, all the everything. Um, okay, die please, just, you die, not me. Okay, rage up, rage up. Okay, that will heal me and be able to kill these guys in maybe one hit if I can actually hit them. Okay. Okay. We are almost out of health potions because I charged in like a fool. We did get the ruby key though. And I might as well destroy these because why the hell not. Gloves of aggression, sure. I was a little bit overly aggressive really and now I don't have any rage potions for the boss battle. That was not well planned. I was panicking, should not panic, don't die to the bomb. Okay, so what should we have done there? Well, fortunately, they're going to give us a bunch of 
potions here. And also they're going to line up in a nice little row. Oh, he is a hearty healer. A healer boss? I didn't even know that was possible. Okay, it goes to the fire. It's not going to hurt me anyway. Okay, well at least he's not a necromancer. That's something. But a hearty healer boss. That's going to hurt. I can tell already. Okay, we're down below half. Keep it. Keep it there. Keep it there. Let's run around until we build up enough rage. And then we can fight him on our own terms, basically. Stay back. Up, up, up. There we go. Okay, that hurt. And he can only heal himself. He doesn't have any minions left, and he's dead. Okay. That was harder than it should have been, really. Lightning Lad, I don't care for you one little bit. Not even when you were part of the Legion of Superheroes. You're kind of a dick. Okay. That was the Skeleton King. I think we're done. We have a golden key in that chest there, I've, I had to guess. And anything else? It seems weird there's not the way out, but maybe that's what um, this door goes to. Yep. And the king's here to say hello. Hey, dude. You've saved us. Came down here as soon as I heard their leader had been taken down. Don't relax yet, though. They came to Orlando to attack us. We're going to lead an assault against them. Well, you might be leading an assault against them, but... I'm not going to be here for that. Couldn't protect who? What are you talking about? Alright, so we get all the stuff and things. Oh, yes, 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 yes. I saved you. Thank you. Okay. I want those boots. Boots of strength and sure, the crystal of godliness. Why not? Okay. Is that it? No, we have more chests over here. Spear of aggression. Might be better than our current spear. Maybe. Let's see. So our current spear, like, so our current spear is 124, 174. Where's the other spear? That's worse, actually. Maybe the plus three extra damage would help. Maybe, possibly. Eh, I don't know. The great sword of aggression looks like it's definitely better, though. That's a lot of damage. Yeah, godliness isn't so godly anymore. Outdone by ten points. I mean, while we're here, we might as well just go ahead and go through these. Shield is worse in every respect. Helm? That's right, I kept the Helm of Power from last time, didn't I? Was that what this one was? No, I threw away the other Helm. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Shoulders of Godliness? Maybe. Extra dagger to cost, but yeah, not, not great. Current one gives me bonus to great swords. I want to keep that. Chest piece I don't care about. Gloves of Aggression. I don't know. I think actually damage will attach it. It's too good to give up right now. And what is this? 7% chance to ignite. It requires luck 6. My luck is currently 5, so I could probably totally pull that off. Um, in fact, I can level up right now. Luck 6, you say. There we go. Oh, I hate the red ones. It's okay. Alright, let's leave. I said leave. Thank you. Yeah, that was fun. One death. Totally deserved that death. Not always going to say that, but it was true in this case. And let's go ahead and sell everything that we have. Except, of course, the stuff we're wearing. And that might actually get us to platinum again. Maybe. Yeah, we'll sell the Sword of Godliness. Because it's not so godly right now. I really need a better ranged weapon. And I don't know why it's taking so long for those to drop, but I guess it has to sort through everything else first. There we go. Platinum Prayer. What do we got? Yes, we'll totally take that stat point. Thank you. And don't we have... Yeah, we have two stat points here. So let's go ahead and dump one in strength, one in defense. We're almost up to 20 strength. That'd be pretty cool. And let's go ahead and fight the dragon here. Because we took their stuff. Now we're going to use it against them. Okay. Run her over. Run over. Let the dragon come over. I guess it's run over or red rover. 
I mean, my hearing is good, but, you know, every once in a while. Okay, yeah, 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 you're a big, strong dude. And your stomps don't do shit. That's gonna hurt me, though. So run over. Now we're below half. And let him go ahead and try to hit us. It's not gonna work. We need to be a little bit on fire. We need to be a little bit below half. We're good. We're good. Range is picking up. Ticking up. Whatever. He can't hit us as long as we're careful. The trick is to be careful. I'm not always good at careful. It's working out pretty well so far. Just bounce back and forth like a pinball. I was actually... I'm actually pretty bad at pinball games. You'd think it'd be fairly easy because it's just physics, you know? It bounces. But you could say the same thing about, like, basketball. And just because you're good at physics doesn't mean that you're good at basketball. Or baseball, or any sport, really. Because, I mean, it's one thing to know it, and another thing to implement it. And implementing it at the way you imagine it takes practice, practice, practice. So I guess I really just never practiced pinball. Pinball, I don't know, man, has such a... Nefarious history? I don't know if nefarious is actually the right word. But it used to be that... Um, used to be that pinball... The first pinball games were just basically you paid a penny or whatever it was. Because it was, you know, back in the day when a penny was actually worth something. And the ball would just fall straight through. And it hit if it hit stuff and, you know, made a bunch of dingy noises, that was good. But you couldn't really adjust its trajectory at all. It was basically a, doll, a ball falling through a maze you, you had no control over. Then, of course, the creators of the pinball game figured out that some people were jostling the machine and stuff to try to get the ball to go certain ways. Um, and then I think that's when the scores really started getting tracked. And after that, they started introducing the flippers, which, of course, makes the pinball game what it is today. But, of course, at the time, it was more of a simple little time-wasting gambling tool. Yeah, they it was qualified as gambling for a while until uh, somebody at, in a courtroom, played a pinball game. And I love this idea. Went to a courtroom to play a pinball game, and I did it. Yeah, what happens? To prove that it wasn't a game of chance, but of skill. The really funny thing is, is that the guy who proved it he was basically calling his shots. He says, well, now I'm going to push it over here. I'm going to use the flipper to make sure the ball goes over there. And he would actually do it nine times out of ten. But later on, he admitted that it was pretty much luck. Because he had never played that particular pinball game before. So even his called shots were pretty much like, oh, well, yeah, I kind of know that this is going to happen. But having never played this before, I don't know for sure. But yeah, I mean, pinball is a game of skill. I just don't have that skill. How did that even come up? Oh, because I was bouncing back and forth like a pinball machine. Or pinball and a pinball machine. Alright, we actually might hit 30,000 here. That will be pretty cool. First time in a long, long series of episodes here. It's a matter of being careful, right? Theoretically. I can be hit once more with fire. Yeah, like that. That's good. Oh, below half. Um, I'm going to hit here. Oh no, what's hit? What do you know? Okay, I need to be hit here, though. Yeah. Oh, that's too much, too much, too much. Uh, well, we're, at least we're going to have 30,000 for sure. After that, though, I don't know. Oh, man, that's a lot of damage. Okay, heal up, heal up. Don't take any damage from that if you can. That either. Whoa, that was close. He almost pinpointed me there. It's okay, we made it. We made it out. Not it yet. Not dead yet. Don't die. Don't die. Rage up. Rage has actually been well. It's available for a little while though, but it's okay. We made it. Okay, I'd love to be able to hit over 50,000, but I don't think that's going to happen. Mainly because we're on our last life, and I'm not that good. That's what it comes down to. Alright, 
Come on, stop, stop pushing me back, huh? Not quite down to half. Almost there. Not quite, though. Come on. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Okay, well, we're down just below. I need just a little bit. Yeah, like that. That's actually more than I wanted, and I died. Okay, well, we got a new ring. Ring of Danger. Times 2 damage when under 50% HP. I don't like to be under 50% HP, so hopefully I will never use that, so let's just sell it. Let's just sell it. What do we got? Okay, we're nowhere near any kind of prayer at all. So that's fine. Oh, not to stash, to actually the other thing. There we go. Okay, I think we have time for another quick mission. Or should we just fight the dragon again? Let's go ahead and do a quick mission. If there is such a thing. That's right, I wanted to fill out this thing up top. Let's go ahead and do a... Um, rewards mission here. Maybe. For some reason my internet decided to be real slow. Sure, let's do Crystal Caverns. Why not? Nice, easy, medium mission. Crystal Caverns have been overrun with an evil presence. You've been tasked with clearing them out. Let's do it. Let's do it. Switch to our... Yeah. That's right. We gave up our spear, didn't we? That's okay. We will do all the things here. So, read sign. Welcome to Crystal. This is our cave now. No oars. No go away or we eat you. No oars. What the heck's an oar? I mean, in Dwarf Fortress, humans are denoted by the letter U. That's probably not what they mean. Oh, hello. Um, you're annoying, so I'm going to kill you straight up. Okay, and you're a drainer, but you're only draining my stamp, my uh, rage, so I don't really care. Okay, it's nice how all these guys have names. That's a level of detail you don't usually see. Yeah, you can go and throw your bomb, man, but um, you're right next to it. Well, I guess you don't take any damage from it, so what do you care? I'm taking all the damage. And next door neighbors are being really noisy. I don't know if you can hear that, but it's possible because I'm also being noisy, talking a lot. They're having some kind of argument, possibly theoretical, possibly philosophical. They're trying to debate the meaning of life. Trying. Trying. Is that guy raging? No, he's a leecher. Oh, that's going to be bad for me. Yeah, cause especially since he didn't turn it on. Well, he's dead now. It's okay. Hate me. Okay, yes, I do actually hate the goblins, but that's pretty funny, actually. And the orc over there is just going to let me kill his friends, apparently. Rug. Um, you probably just thought it sounded cool, but you should pay attention to what these things mean. Let's go and hit the checkpoint. I said hit the checkpoint. There we go. And what do we got? Regen? No, gassy frostbite. Well, don't let him get his frostbite off. His gassy we can't help. There we go. Got the gold key. There are a lot of keys here. This might actually be a longer mission than I thought. That's okay, though. Um, yeah, let's go in here. Oh, there are eyeballs in here. So let's switch to our ranged weapon. Oh, that is more damage than I want right now. Thank you. Um, eyeball fell off, but his laser still goes through the wall. That's bullshit laser going through a wall. I mean, okay, that's what lasers usually do. All the way around, do the hokey pokey, and set yourself on fire. And that was a waste because I couldn't... Oh, really? You can do that, huh? Well, I can do this, so there. Alright, so we got ourselves a key. Yep, sapphire key, thank you. Um, what else do we have to go here? So that was that guy. Why is it marked with a skull, though? Very strange. There's probably a reason for it. Don't know what it is yet. Lots of flowing rivers. Mike the Liar. Nice Elder Scrolls reference. If you never played Elder Scrolls, Mike the Liar was an NPC. A Khajiit NPC, which was a Catman, really. Um, he would wander around the open world and basically tell you stuff. Some of it was true, 
some of it just was silly. But that's why it was called Mock the Liars, because you never knew whether or not you could actually trust him to tell you the truth. Um, I think... Well, I mean, the funny thing is, I think he's been in every single one of the Elder Scrolls games since Arena. Um, which means he's, like, centuries old. Possibly a Daedra, which is one of the demons. Well, Daedra really demons? I guess there's an argument made for that. Okay, jerk a lot. <laughs> I like the names. It's pretty good. Suppose I shouldn't be focusing on the minions. I should switch out my weapon here and just deal with this guy. And if necessary, we'll rage up. I don't think it's going to be necessary, though. Well, maybe. I mean, the necromancer is dead. There we go. That's what I was looking for. That guy right there. I don't know if that was actually a waste or not. Oh, okay, we can go through. Can we go through this one? No, that requires the emerald key. So we're missing emerald and ruby, it looks like. So they're not going to be over there. So I must have missed a side area or something. Happens. Um, yep, there's a side area right there, in fact. Right past this lantern. Is anybody guarding it? Oh, another key warden. Oh, I'm going to die. It's going to happen there. I don't know what he took damage from. I don't really care. Oh, come on. I was stuck. Alright, now you're going to die, right? Yes, okay. I could rage up now. It'd be kind of silly. Regen should be able to take care of me, right? Theoretically. Just waiting for the black or the red box to go away. But I think next time... Yeah, if there's going to be more key wardens, maybe we just rage up and take him out that way. I'd like to get up there, yeah. These steps, man. Sometimes these steps. Okay, we already hit... Did we already go this way? Yes, right? This is where we came from? Yes, that's totally where we came from. Okay. So, yeah, I guess right-hand rule. Okay, we've already been in there. So that's good to know. Um, did I actually miss something? So we got the golden key. We didn't get the red key. Is the red key over here? Or the ruby key? There's no room for it, though. There's no place for it to be. I guess it could be past the ocean, maybe? I don't know if it's really an ocean, but... We can go all the way over here. Yeah, that's... No, actually, that's not a key chest. But it is a way around. That's kind of funny that's here. Yeah, why did they give us a way around? That's strange. Old King Markoth. Markoth also sounds similar. I don't know why. Oh, I suppose we should rage up. And then use our greatsword and go mano a mano here. Nice. Good damage. Nicely done. Oh, and there's a red key. So we had to do that. That was... Strange. Why require the red key to open the door and then only provide a way around to get the red key? Very odd. I mean, it's good we explored. The skeleton man just doesn't care. What is his name? Botgun? Interesting. Why Botgun? Dude, just die, okay? Helmet of Speed. Sure, we'll pick up the red key now. I mean, it doesn't seem to do us much good, but we'll do it. Is there a reason why we wanted to go in here, though? I mean, gold's okay, I guess. Potion's alright. But not like I could have gotten it earlier. I'm very confused. It's, just, it's an interesting design to do that. At least they provided a way around, and it just requires a little bit of exploration to get it. Okay. There's actually a boss chest. I was not expecting a boss chest on a media mission. But we're done. That was cool. We're out. I said we're out. Did we die? We did not die. Okay, good. Small favors. Small favors. Alright, let's look at all of our equipment. Make sure we're wielding the best possible stuff here. That's actually pretty bad. Great Sword of Vigor is terrible. We can't even use the crossbow. 
Which is good, because it's actually worse than our hatchet. And that's a bad shield. That is better HP regen, so I think we want that. But it requires strength 20, which we don't have yet. But also level 34, which we don't have yet. So when we hit level 34, we can totally use that helmet. Chest of Vision requires level 35. Well, it's hard to tell if I'll even remember it when I hit level 35. And nothing else. So we totally want to keep the helmet and everything else we can chuck into the fire. So helmet we will keep. This one, right? Yes, this one. Okay. Yeah, and everything else we chuck. We chuck, you chuck, we all chuck for chuck meats. Doesn't work. Oh, I should probably donate the gold, because what else am I going to do with it, right? Okay, but that'll do it for this episode. Thank you guys for watching. This has been another episode of Fight the Dragon. I have a PC Universe. You'll be a PC Universe, too. You'll be a PC Universe. You might not be one yet. It's hard to tell. But anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.